All right, guys. Welcome back to World Two. Mike here, and um, we're back to doing another basic video. This time, we're going to do a 309 stainless to carbon on a 1G position with a backing strip. Uh, yeah, I really like that 1G position, 6010, 7018. So I'm gonna do um, a little complete series of 1G uh, with uh, carbon steel, with stainless steel, and then we'll uh, do another one of Inconel. And then I'm gonna just do a 2G then, a 3G, and an overhead then. I'm gonna do a complete series of back to the basics with carbon, stainless, and Inconel. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys. So we went ahead and prepped up the plates. Uh, you're gonna clean the top of the bevel, the bevel itself on both of your plates. The backing strip. Make sure you clean it as well. The way you clean your bevel is nice and shiny, feel, uh, free of mill scale, any rust, anything like that. Since this is carbon steel, and you are gonna want to put a landing or a root face on the plates themselves, just to hold the metal in there so it's melting uh, to the plate and to the backing strip, not just uh, melting all the way through and dripping off the plate. All right, guys, so we're going to be using a 332-309 stainless to carbon rod. And the motion I'm going to be using is, um, is a little drag, maybe a little side-to-side -side effect. But um, I'm going to start right here on my backing strip. I'm going to come up to the bevel, and I'm going to just move the rod back and forth, make sure I'm watching the puddle touch both of the walls. Come all the way through. Now, with 309, the stainless to carbon rod, it does burn a little bit quicker than regular carbon. So you might have to stop halfway, and then we're going to continue off tie into it and continue off the rest. I am at uh, 75 amps. I'm using a Miller, Sir Dyn Miller Dynasty 280. Again, so I'm going to strike the rod and hold it there. Let it heat up. Pop off. Strike back. And that right there is just to reduce porosity. Alright guys, so we're going to do our hot pass. Again, we're going to stick the rod, let it warm up, pop off, strike it, and do the hot pass as a big weave, kind of side to side, make sure you keep it a tight arc. So we're still going to use the number six motion to tie in, but first we're going to strike a rod, let it warm up, and break it off. Come back, use a six motion. Nice and tight arc. All the way off. So after a hot pass, we're going to start filling it up. I am going to do one more big pass for the fill. Again, strike it, warm up your rod, break it off, strike up. This time, I'm going to focus on more of the bevels. Doing like a circle motion or a cursive E. I'm going to make sure I'm melting those walls down. I did crank it up to about 80 amps. That's, that's pretty much cooking with this rod. It burns really quick. So we're going to go ahead and tie it back in. Again, we're going to strike it the rod warm up break it off do number six motion tie back in
do about some stringer beads. I'm doing like a little drag, watch my puddle build up to the edge of the bevel. Alright guys, so we're going to start our cap. I did turn the machine down to 70 amps. Just um, to keep it a little bit cooler for the undercut purposes. Because uh, I do recommend letting the plate cool down for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes before capping. But in this case, we're going to turn down the heat, and we did let it cool down for about 5 to 10 minutes. And uh, now we're going to throw the cap on there. It's going to be about a 3 bead cap. I'm using the dragging method. I'm dragging the bead across. Now we're going to throw the second bead. Remember, to always 50-50 your beads. So we're going to throw the third and final bead. Again, we're going to let the rod warm up. Break it off. Again, drag motion. A 70 amp. All right, guys. So there's the cap. We have a three, three bead stringer cap. We started from the. Um, if you're looking from the camera angle, from the right to the left. So there you have it, guys. 309 stainless to carbon rod. Hope y'all enjoyed. Feel free to uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Instagram and Facebook. See y'all later.